Okay, we are back here. I'm going to hand this to you, Raven. We're going to do the clacker because we've uh, started a new recording. Here we go. Clacker. Ready, set. Good. That should be enough for our audio levels. You are recording. I am recording. we got two blue bars, streaming and recording. And where we left off is that uh do you see what i'm talking about glenn i do yeah okay where we left off is that um the wilder party had just encountered a patrol of undead elves first time they've ever caught sight of such a thing and they basically went nova on them with the <laughs> wizard blowing the hell out of them with a fireball two fireballs uh you killed them all but the leader got off some type of terrible black curse in the very towards the end of the fight. And um, some kind of curse has been laid on Josephine and her eyes have turned black. She is somehow possessed and now attacking her own uh, family. So her own, her own group of uh, um, party goers. So it is now the end of Raven's turn. You don't have anything else to do for your actions, right, Raven? We finished you. That was it. And Percy is the next to react to uh, Josephine's possession. So um, uh, Raven was actually suggesting he could assist. And I'm wondering how what the mechanics of that is. I would say because he just went, mm -hmm. he doesn't have any more aid to give until it's got to be somebody before your turn mm -hmm. that takes one of their actions and says, I'm going to hold this for aid to... Uh, in the future sure. okay yeah. well in that case i will tackle our turned josephine all right are you next to her do you have to move to get to near her i have to leap over, over pixie pixie right because he had moved around her okay so he's he has no problem stepping over her she's a small form she only takes up half of her body space he can step over her to get to you and it's an athletics check to attempt to grapple. Mm. By the way, right while Rob's doing that, I wish to thank our our new up and coming alchemist with his latest alchemy experiment. It's right here. <laughs> he said that he was doing an alchemy experiment tonight for tonight. This is what Raven did. Thank you, Raven. Here. Everybody say thank you, Raven. Thank, thank you, Raven. Thank you, Raven. You're welcome. Sometimes Glenn makes homemade baked goods and brings them to the. To the I'm game, probably we really the only person it. in the world who's like mm, oatmeal raisin, uh, my favorite cookies ever. <laughs> but they truly are. I I love them. I love them. So thank you. Good. Okay. okay so what about you, Percy? What do you uh, think? It, uh, Sixteen. A 16 to attempt to grapple her? To grapple her. See if it works. Yep. You manage to get a hold of her with your superior strength. Mm -hmm. She is now struggling against you. Mm -hmm. You've grappled her. And what are you doing? Um, are you going to try and pick her up or just hold on to her in place? I Try and go prone? What are you I gonna do? am going to hold on to her. And shout to one of the other members of my crew, tie her up. Okay. Attempt to tie her up. All right. You have got a hold of her, and she is struggling against you. Mm -hmm. All right. That does not prevent her. Grapple does not prevent her from doing other things while she's grappled. Okay. Just so you know. Um, you're going to have to hold on. That's all you can do other than hold on to her and say that, right? Which means that it next becomes her turn, Josephine's turn. Josephine. Wait, do I have a turn, on, like a willful turn, or are you taking my Yes, turn? you get to roll a will check. A will check. A will save. <coughs> Come out of her, Damon. Go. <laughs> roll high. <laughs> Stop possessing this lovely lady. Go away. <laughs> hail you, hail you. Yes. I rolled a nine. Plus your will. Plus 12, so 21. There's not enough to break the will 
of the spirit that is possessing you. So. Fuck you, spirit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of Josephine's turn. It becomes Thaddeus' turn. Power Racer commands you. Go. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, I want to do is get the gun out of her hand. And how are you going to do that? Um, well, given that she's sort of being restrained, although she's still squirming, I'm just going to reach out and try to literally grab it out of her hands. Well, athletics check. Why does it have to be It's strength based, on? not acrobatic based. What's your, your strength? Your strength versus the possessed it's Josephine not great. strength. It's not great. 17. Hers is greater strength than yours, and you are yeah. unable to pull it out of her hand. Okay. She is now holding, though, she's only holding the rifle in one hand. As you've been pulling it, you've been able to tear it off of the other hand, but she's still Someone able to hold it. bite my wrist off. <laughs> and then Josephine suddenly <laughs> metagames from inside her possessed skull. And, and that, uh, that's, that's what possessed people say, right? They they say awful things. I guess that's true. Yes. All right, so Thaddeus, you're up there right next to her doing that. I'm yep. going to say you have one action left. That took two actions to do. Okay, um, I'm going to grab my rope. You're going to try again, you're saying? No, I'm going to grab the rope. Okay. And, and, and attempt to tie her up, or what? Well, I think it'll take the whole thing just to get it. It's going to take backpack. him a bit just to get rope together to do it. Yeah. Percy, yes, are you facing the, the uh, Josephine or are you behind her holding on to her? I think I came up behind her. Roll a reflex save. Okay. How did you roll it into the tray and still it managed to bounce out of the tray? Uh, 19. You do not roll enough. She rolls higher than that. She rolls a 20. She headbutts you right into your face. And that headbutt hits you for seven points of damage. And your nose is bleeding and your mouth hurts. As she smashes into you from the back. Um... Having done that, headbutt to smash you, she tries with an athletics check to break free. So roll to see if you're able to hold on to her. And you're rolling with disadvantage as she has headbutted you right in, at the same moment she attempts to break free. She rolled pretty shitty. You're probably going to beat this. Uh, oh, so I have to roll again. Bring Yes, with disadvantage. And you should bring your tray over to the center. Yeah, because yeah. it's uh first roll is... Uh, 32 so um but you got to roll with disadvantage and this one is 22 you hold on to her because her roll was significantly worse than that and that becomes the end of her turn as she tries to break free from you guys and it becomes raven's turn no okay i'm gonna cast fireball this long small <laughs> arachnid. Is a spider? Yes. No, I'm not going to do that. Right there. Let me get I'm going to um, take a rope and tie up her arms. My rope, it's already out. Oh, I'm going to take, well, he's on, he's the other side I have a rope as well. There, yeah. So we can use two ropes. So I take. Ew, don't get bit. I we have a spider that's walking around on our game. Yeah. And the spider lands on the cat, and the cat freaks out. <laughs> and, and the cat tears out. around like a tornado, <laughs> and Minnie's done <laughs> left and right. You know, I wonder if I could, should should summon a uh, um, uh, an animal that can grapple. That's an interesting idea. Like a, a cobra, or not a cobra, a, uh, a python. Yeah, uh, I can a, I can summon yeah, I can summon those things, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take my rope out as one action, and then I'm going to tie her, tie up her arms with the second action. Athletics attempt. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. Yep. My athletics isn't very good. I feel like all my friends so are missing and here in like chat when I'm actually getting tied up. 15. 15. You managed to get some rope around her right leg only. Nice. And as she's kicking what? now, that's a, that's a you've got, rock. you can pull on it to kind of try I mean, and pull it away a little bit, but that's all you were able to do. You were not able to bind both legs at the same time. Okay. 
Not that anybody's going to see. That means it becomes Except Percy's turn. Okay. Uh, have you got her tied up yet? I no. A leg. He got a leg. That's a it. A leg. Had you been paying attention, you would have heard that. Well, I was, they were, we playing were playing with, with his tomahawk. tomahawk. We were playing with my tomahawk. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god we're all regressing you know right <laughs> no, we're absolutely. regressing 30 years absolutely there's already a rope on her well okay so there's a rope on her <clears throat> i i have grappled her like this now can i grab her arms and bring them behind her back in a traditional uh police slam I'm going to say that you can try an athletics check to see if you can make that transition against whatever her strength is. Because it's a standard wrestling yeah, I get move, that. and uh, the police slam is what they use to take an armed opponent who has a knife or something, grab them by the arms, and put them behind the back. I'm aware. Yeah. Take it that's a no. What number is it, Mr. Percy? It's a one, isn't it? You lose the grapple and she breaks free. It immediately becomes Josephine's turn to attempt a... Can, can uh, I do one more thing or no? Yes, you can do some kind of reaction if you want. I'm a bopper in the head with my fist. Are uh, you going to try an unarmed attack? Okay, to roll to knock her unconscious. For roll to hit, roll to hit with an unarmed attack. Uh, that's kind of crap. You're still not rolling in the right place, dude. I, I know. But... He's caught up in the moment. I know. I am. Uh, unarmed attack is uh, plus 11 or what is it? So 14. <laughs> you got to talk to the Yeah, I got to talk to We get to see your shoulder all the time. Oh, my shoulder. So it was a, I rolled a 14 and what's that give me? I'm going to say that, that you, you connect with your unarmed attack. Roll a D6. Okay. Roll a D6. And a, a D6. Blah, 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 blah. Five. And Josephine takes five points of damage. And that's it. I can't knock her unconscious? Like not with one. not with a five-point unarmed attack bop on the head. <laughs> so thanks. You're welcome. Thanks for just like at least, at least hitting me in the I'm just trying to knock some together. sense in you. I don't know what the deal is. It's, it's so bad to hit a woman. He's, he's panicking. So, I'm Josephine, panicking. You got, did you, you roll your fortitude free. check? Bring your tray over and roll a uh, fortitude save. You're trying to save yourself and break free of the possession that has locked you out of your own body. I rolled a 14. You rolled a 14? Not enough. Uh, my fortitude is plus 10. Yep, not enough. Wow. Pardon me. So 24 Stop. is not enough? Whoa. 24 is not enough. Jeez. You got to remember, these numbers go higher now that you guys are getting up into the higher levels. Right? So is that all I get to do? That's all you turn? get to do is try and break okay. free. Uh, and then it becomes Thaddeus' turn. Okay, rope in my hand. I'm going to try and um, get it around. Lasso the other, other oh, leg? No. Or um, what? Yeah, well, if... Raven has she's now has standing had... free but she still with a rope. rope around one leg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the I rope got, is going I, in I the direction of, of Raven. You broke free of uh, you broke free of him. me with your head. Um, but then you conked me. Like oh, when I, that just gives me five points that of is, damage. That and... is tit for tat, my friend. If I panics and I just bop you one. He smacked you on the head trying to knock you out and failed to knock you out. Yeah. So what do you think, Thaddeus? She's standing there. You don't know what she's going to do. When... I have to get that gun out of her hand. Okay. And what do you want to do to do that? Uh, in order to do that, um, unarmed attack. You want to try and whack it with uh, just your hand? Sure. All right. Roll the hit. You've got unarmed attack on your, uh, on your I do. character sheet. I just have to find it. It's probably got like a bonus of plus five or six or something. You'll see it at the Unarmed bottom. attack. <laughs> plus 13. Ooh, Ooh, of course. Because he would he would be pretty nimble with uh, doing stuff like that. Plus 13. Roll to hit. 
two, two <laughs> and he fails his unarmed attack. He he's able to connect, but it makes no difference. It's not no. enough to break the strength of the grip that she's got on the gun, which she still only has with one hand because she hasn't been able to react yet. So she's standing there. That's uh, only one action. You have two more action. I'm going to keep trying. All right, roll it. I got to get that gun out of her hand. It's a plus nine on your second unarmed attack. Uh, three. <laughs> well, that's an improvement. All right. It's a plus I, one on your third unarmed attack. You could do it with a 20. Oh, what are the chances of that? Well, nope. No. Possessed Josephine's turn. No. Possess Josephine. Josephine. Evil spirit within you. Evil Josie. Josie Wales surveys what she's got and drops Mabel. Uh Oh. Pulls out a peacemaker in either hand like this. Points one of them directly at Thaddeus. And attempts to shoot Thaddeus with the first one. And uh, she's going to roll to hit Thaddeus. And she rolls a 10 plus 10, which is 20. Oh, wait, no, that's not right. It's a 10 plus 13 now. Your strike is 13. 23 (laughs) hits. Nimble dodge. 1d6, <laughs> but not the 1d4 force. It's a 1d6 plus 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't get the d4 because... Because it's a bright it's iron. It's bright iron. You don't take yeah. that. You take 5 points of damage oh. plus 1. You take 6 points of damage from the shot that hits you in the shoulder. That's the second time I've, to- I've shot you tonight. That's true. It is the second Ooh. time. Her With her second, she takes it and she points it right at Raven. Who is also who's next and closest and attempts to hit him. It's still the plus 13, and she rolls a 16. She hits him. It's a 1d6 plus one. And she hits him for five plus one, hits him for six points of damage again. Pow. Both guns go off. Pow pow. Why am I shooting better as a possessed <laughs> demon who has no control over herself than I do as my actual character? What I'll the be, heck? Because you're more relaxed. Spir- I, I, Spirit's got better rain. I, I, think, know, I, I think we all asked that question, Josephine. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm really sorry, sorry, you guys. I'm how, really sorry. How much damage was that? Six. Six, six points of damage. Okay. I don't that know. is her first action is to mm. is to actually her second action her first action was to drop mabel pull these go like this <laughs> she immediately spins then and sprints away 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 and she sprints to that distance, running into the burned trees. And it becomes Raven's turn. Well, at least, at least she's not shooting at me anymore. <laughs> Maybe you could use your mage hand to trip her. No, that wouldn't work. She's 50 feet away from me. 50 feet away now. Well, I'd say 55 actually from you. Oh boy. That's a tough one. Okay. I'm um, 55 feet away. She still has her weapons. Not all of them. I dropped Mabel. Mabel. See, this is what makes me feel good as a game master because you guys have to work to figure out situations and what to do and really use your brain power. And, you know, it creates dilemmas for you so that it's not all just easy breezy roll along. It creates real issues that you've got to figure out. Okay, I'm going to 
I'm going to go 25 feet towards her. I'm going to try and get as close as I can. Okay. I'm off the map, aren't I? I can not quite. Try mm. so and go 25 feet. Am I within 30 feet? You are within 30 feet. Absolutely. Okay. I cast uh, Tanglefoot. Tanglefoot. Okay. Roll to hit. I think that's what Tanglefoot has on it, doesn't it? Um, Let me look and see if it's a defense AC. Yeah. So you got to beat her AC. Yeah. So she's got to beat my um, spell 21 DC. Well, she does. I think so. Isn't that how that works? I thought that the way defense AC worked. Let me look. You got to beat her armor class. Roll to hit. I have to beat her armor class. Okay. I rolled a 13 plus 11. And you do. 24. Her armor class is not increased from what it was as Josephine. My armor class is 22. You just got it. Yay. Mm -hmm. Go wizard. Okay. So what a Tanglefoot does is it uh, a vine covered in sticky sap appears from thin air, flicking from your hand and lashing towards the target. And it was just a regular success, right? Oh, it's heightened. It lasts for two rounds. She takes a uh, t- minus 10 foot um, circumstance penalty for speeds. So she's reduced to 15 feet running for the next uh, two rounds. Two rounds. Oh, actually, and it lasts for a minute, actually, because it's heightened to level four and I'm already a level five person. All right. So she's. Uh, she's slowed for a minute. She's slowed for a minute. Well, like slower. Okay. I'll accept that. Uh, is that the end of your turn? You have more stuff to do. You moved. You that, is it, it was uh, two, and it's two to do that, right? That's it for me. And that means that it immediately becomes Percy's turn. Okay. What does Percy wish to do? Uh, Percy's going to run after her, and uh, um, twenty-five feet per action. How far do you want to go? Feet per action. So I'm going to do the twenty-five feet. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25 and by the way i don't play the diagonals take more than uh up down left rights do i think that's a very stupid D rule they shouldn't no so i just play that a square is a flat five in any square direction is a square. simpler that way so you've made 25 yep how uh, you are currently now according to my little grid on the map 5 10 15 20 uh you're 20 square 20 feet away from her you could close it in four more squares but that would take you another action to do that uh then you'd only have one okay and then i've got if i if i chose if if i chose to tackle as my last action i'm looking to see if you try and do a grapple how many actions is a grapple and i think that it seems to me a grapple would only be one because if you do any strikes with any other kinds of weapons, it's only one as well. So I would equate it with an unarmed attack okay. to grapple her. And I'll say that's one. So you could close the distance and then you could take your last action to grapple, attempt to grapple if you I'm want. I'm going to attempt to tackle her. All right, let's move those. Did you say uh, crackle? No. You can crackle her. You can crackle her all right. I'll okay, so I'm going to move uh, your token right up there. You can move Percy's yep. can uh, move mini closer, up there. Please. I'm going to move the map so that we can center a little more. Do, 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 do. Uh, did correct. the map get small? And there, let's do this. There, that's, that's better on camera if we do this. Okay, so we're almost off the map, but that's where, if you want to put everybody else where they all were to. And that'll help the people at home that are looking at the games. Okay, and I, I, got a, I got a 24. You got a 24 to grapple her? Yeah. You succeed in grappling her. Okay. I, I just grab her legs and and hopefully she just hits the ground and doesn't hurt too bad. You both end up prone yeah. because you're having to make a running grapple yeah. to be able to catch her. Okay. So it's like a football tackle. Okay. All you right. both end up prone on the ground yeah. laying there side by side. Come and get her. Know. This is my last thing to say. Well, I can't believe you experienced in that. That was a really good Anyways, um, some a comment from the chat, if I may interject, because yeah. I am the chat master. You are the chat somebody master. said something. My friend ZZ loves your steampunk cat. Oh, thanks. There you go. Oh, there you go. A handsome okay. steampunk we cat. Can, we can resume chat now. A handsome steampunk cat. And, and, and no blush. Very handsome. He's, very handsome. He's not blushing, though. 
I, I have a constitution save. <laughs> Against blushing. Against blushing. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Josephine, you can attempt to break free of the possession. Please, your... please, Big please. I rolled a 13, and my fortitude is 10. Will. Oh, sorry. Will. Will is tw- plus 12. So 25. 25? 25. Does it. <laughs> yeah. Hey. See, you were at 24 last time. You didn't make it. You had to make no, 25. No, no. She did. 25 DC. Oh, good Lord. So nice. as you hit the ground, that was tough. I know. tackled by Percy, the impact of it is enough to jolt you that uh, the possessed spirit loses control of you. It swirls up into the air looking for another target. Oh, no. Oh, get the jar out. I need a jar. Can you dispel spirits or anything? I don't know. We have anything that works against spirits. No. Fly swatter. And it rolls a 20. Oh. Oh, oh. What? Which means that it suddenly dives straight into the next available victim. And Percy suddenly loses control. What happens with his cat? That's the question. <laughs> And what happens if Stay tuned for next week when we find out. No, <laughs> oh I'm God, no. The spirit of the cat is going to fight the spirit of the icky darkness thing. We just Percy cry. begins to roll on the ground. You start to hear the growls and the grunts as he transforms into a weir tagger. Yay. You're help me. As is it a regular weir tiger? He or rises super- up as a weir tiger. You see that his normal coloring that you've seen the last couple times where he was orange and black stripes and the mask itself was, you know, kind of a wood brown is now devoid of color. And he seems to be a black and gray color and the mask is gray as well. And two black, jet black, sinister eyes look out of the mask at you with malevolence as the spirit has taken control of the weir tiger. The spirit that's in the weir tiger surveys all of you standing there, but hey, it's not his turn yet. It's Thaddeus and Lavinia's turn first. Okay, Thaddeus... And that would not hap- have happened if it wasn't for D20. That's not anywhere near what it was supposed to be. I am going to grab a drink while you think about what you could do now. Um, first of all, I'm <clears throat> going to move closer with trailblazing sl- stride. Um, although it doesn't say really what the advantage is for, for that. Hello, move Bye-bye. forward. Is it, is it double speed or it doesn't say it just says you're used to moving through the wilderness while moving on land you ignore the effects of non-magical difficult terrain so actually you could have used trailblazing stride before we should have thought of it the web isn't going to stop you uh with trailblazing stride i don't think or maybe it's just different well it didn't anyways in that case so. i should double check that So, what do you think? Okay, now, oh, yes. um, the rope is still attached to one one foot, and I'm guessing it was trailing behind her as she was running. It was. I'm grabbing the rope and pulling her out of there. <laughs> oh! Okay, good My thought. hero! Good. Yeah, save the girl. That's a good call. That's a good call. Okay, so you were able to make how far a distance? Where are you now? Where's your Where's your mini? Where's I'm here? guessing feet. around here, but okay. I'm just gonna guess with the token and go over to where you are. Gotcha. Okay, good. Uh, from there, you can six, uh, roll roll an athletics check because you got to be strong enough to pull her out of there. Seventeen plus six. You pull her right to you. Good job, Thaddeus. Okay, just like that. Okay. And I say sorry for shooting you twice. (laughs) (laughs) 
And uh, that's all of the stuff that you could do, all the actions yeah. you've got to do. So it becomes yeah. Lavinia's turn. Okay, how far away am I from um, the Weird Tiger? Currently, you so are. Feet. Feet. You are sixty feet. Hey, am I good? Fifty-five, sixty feet, right to him. It's, it's okay. Okay, I had wanted really? to, to cast sleep on him, Ooh. but the range is thirty feet. So can I? move forward and then still many, do it how many turns does it i thought you took that feat that gave you the extra reach ah uh it was only no i'm sorry but you did not you took the feet that turned that you wanted to take the feet that turned your aoe into a 60 foot cone mm-hmm. that's not the same as reach for spells okay. that's converting a uh, circular AOE into a cone. I'm still trying to sort those out. I'm really sorry. That's confusing stuff. Does it take three three actions to do a sleep? Well, that's what I'm trying to see. The problem with 60 feet is that you can't even get within 30 feet of him to do what you need to do. Boy, I'm just... It's two actions for sleep against a will save at 30 feet. While she's thinking, I'm going to just do a random hello, hi there to... No, you keep thinking. <laughs> hello, okay, hi there. hello, hi there to Sugar Sugar. Hello, hi there to Zed Sugar, Zed. Sugar. And <laughs> Sugar Sugar. And Zed Zed. His oh. name's ZZ, but we're Canadian, no. so we say Zed Zed. And um, hello to my friend Frosty. And hello to Frosty's mama. And hello to the little itty bitty oochie coochie little baby kit kitten with no name that he looks like a mini larry that frosty is fostering oh yeah. good for you frosty. a kitty cat and hello to everyone well, while she's thinking we're just giving her some more time all right so lavinia uh you are also still slowed so that means well there you go maybe i should be using my heel condition thing on me to get rid of my conditions so that I can actually functionally do something. All right. Let me look. Well, you're slowed, right? And, um, and second. And second. Mm -hmm. And yeah. those, my feet. Heel condition. It's one of your feet, right? Yeah, it is. Treat condition, not heel condition. It'll help you with your sickened condition, but it will not help you with your slowed. Because it says that it reduces clumsy, enfeebled, or sickened conditions. Okay, well, can we at least start with that so that maybe I can do something functional? Roll a fortitude check. Where's your d20? Where you oh, here it is. Oh, here it is. Thank you. And, uh, Give me that fact to put on my... On my... Yes, the ledge. A table of judgment. 14 plus whatever. You have no problem removing the sickened condition from yourself. You are still slowed. And this means that possessed Percy now suddenly turns, pivots looks at the group oh he has to be standing up to turn and pivot yeah. okay i'll i'll Use, let him i'll let him take that i'll let him take one action to do that which gives him two actions as a possessed weir tiger he looks at the group <laughs> and yeah. turns and leaps covers the entire distance of 35 feet to raven Holy of course. Good grief. and takes a slash at raven you're having a rough night raven oh, Not night. Night. you're the total victim tonight aren't you 
So I would like to say that pretty much all of us have been victim, victim at some point of this spirit. evening. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We are having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> she says in a monotonous voice. Oh, it, just, it wasn't like her heart was in it when she said it's that. So much fun. I'm having so much I lost fun. my weird tiger from my uh bestiary, so I have to go find him again and see what it says and what he can do. I like your blue fingers. Strikes way, plus bro. 14. Claws. Here we so go. Roll a two. Hmm? Roll a two. He rolls a one. Well, that's pretty oh, wow. close. That's almost a two. Wow. Second strike Wait, with claws. Is there any, like, guys. isn't there something bad happens when you roll no, a one? No <laughs> I mean, it's, it's it's like a, it's a will save that he can't even do Percy on his own. gets to roll a fortitude to try and beat it. Well, that's to try and beat. That's a good answer. Get your glasses out of there. <laughs> um, twenty-five breaks it just like it did before. Yeah. And as he swings and misses, he's distracted. In that moment, Percy is able to use his will, summon his will to break the curse and uh, collapses to the ground prone, but begins to fade away from the morph from being a weird tiger back to being Percy himself. Once again, the spirit swirls up oh, looking for a target, looking for a victim. It cannot go back to uh -oh. its previous victim. Let's see what happens with a 14 from where it is at. It does not see any other victims close enough other than Raven. Raven rolls a fortitude save. Yikes. Roll high, buddy. Roll high. Well, let's see. My fortitude is plus 10. And I rolled a, a 3. 13. The spirit dives into Raven. No. Well, at least my level three spells are gone. Immediately, Raven's eyes turn black and his fingers flare with magic. Oh, no. A squishy wizard with... Unfortunately... Demon soul. Raven hears this sense of pissed offness that there are no more... <laughs> Level three slots <laughs> left in the wizard's inventory. Oh, 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 cast any AOEs. Oh, well, there's still lots of good stuff. Yeah. Shh, shh. I know. And oh, so, forget that thought. You have nothing. You have nothing left. I, your mouth. <laughs> All you are is like a. You a, are a simply squishy. squishy wizard. Give me a rank two spell, please. A rank two spell slot. There you go. And suddenly, Raven fades from view. Oh, no. And, and Raven, he has to pay for it at the same time. Yep, he has to pay for it, and he is no longer visible. He, he just cast an invisibility spell against his own will. Oh, the irony. I wish that I could like post memes. We still have that flower. The gardenia? No, no we got no. lots of eggs with flour no, in them. These eggs with flowers. Oh, the, the flower eggs? As Raven flower does egg? that, it becomes Percy's turn. Uh, As he's returning into consciousness now, he stands up and he is going to be enfeebled for her first round, but Percy can do something if he wishes. I, I have a suggestion. If you're what? not able to move, hmm. maybe you just, could just yell out, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> and and can't, can't I take care of his enfeebledness when it's my turn? Well, it's your turn. Yeah. Or is this just the temporary? But it's only going to last. It's only going to last one, one level, round. one round. Okay. So because he's only <clears throat> enfeebled because he was just possessed. Um. So I'm I'm gonna run over, not knowing where the hell you're he not is. gonna run over anywhere because you're enfeebled. I'm gonna 
throw holy water at it. At what? All right, you're going to swing a spray of holy water in front of you? Yeah. At, at what? At exactly. just the well, they air. They can't see. That's a lot of holy water. Because holy water won't hurt you. And maybe just rub it in your eyes. Like, I don't like, know. He actually like just disappeared. Legitimately disappeared. Mm -hmm. Show me. I'm going to say that you can spray the holy water in a cone. Mm -hmm. And so show me. You can use a 15-foot cone. Mm -hmm. You tell me when it's in the right place. I will go up and back. You can, it'll pivot around from you. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> it kind of jumps to 20 feet sometimes, depending on my mouse, but Hard, you, you can don't figure even it out. Know where you are. Where do you want it to go, Percy? That's right. I'm possessed well, and I'm lost. Basically, yeah, towards yeah, yeah. where. Uh, Isn't it not showing up? Oh, so it shows me as I try and put it in place. But okay, I'm going to say here, and you tell me whether you want it to go oh, to the right or to the left. Uh, to the to my right. To your right. Yeah. Would be to have it. Oh God. How do I, uh, the opposite, maybe I can rotate the opposite it. opposite way from where it's going. Okay, all I can do is delete it. Hold on. Okay. You want it to spread up along the path? You want it to go this way? Yeah. Uh, well, I can't see yet. I see nothing. Uh, Did you want it to go this way or the other way? Rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Gotcha. Yeah, it um, uh, should be centered on me, shouldn't it? You're right, it should be centered on you. Yeah, do you want it to go to the right or the left at all? A uh, little, little to the, to my left. Okay. So you're right, I guess. Towards the skulls or away from the skulls? Uh, away from the skulls. Okay, that's what I thought you meant. Yeah, I want it on the path. Are the skulls that those are all like the that? Yes, that's yeah. the one I want right there. Okay, as it sprays out directly in front of you, because apparently Invisible Raven hasn't had a chance to move very far yet. Not directly in front of you, but just a little ways away. All of a sudden, Raven. Possessed Raven is exposed again as the water hits him. Wow. That was there's cool. a mm -hmm. hiss and a sizzle as it goes up. Uh, at this point, Raven gets to roll a fortitude save to try and break free because of the holy water hitting him. Uh, I didn't do it. And he fails with a two. Okay. But at least it wasn't a one. That's true. All right, everybody, light him up. <laughs> <laughs> and it becomes Josephine's turn. Hmm. And I, uh, am I? Are still you still prone? prone? You are still prone because you just just got dragged over there. Oh right! Thank you for dragging me over there. I, I will stand up with my okay. one turn. One action. I will give you a big hug with my second action. Ow! Wow! A, a gentle <laughs> hug. <laughs> You're, um, you're covered in Tanglefoot, by the way. Yeah. Shush. Stop ruining my dramatics. Like you, <laughs> minus okay. ten for like a. You minute. also do not have in your possession Mabel anymore. Nope. I know. Right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is like, disregard the whole gun I have slung over the top of my shoulder, and which I am, isn't there. I'm going to immediately go and search for Mabel after like. Can getting up and giving um, uh, Thaddeus a little kiss on the cheek be one action? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay I'm going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. You can go all the way up to where Mabel is. Where and Mabel is, is laying on the ground. I'm going to put you where the token where Mabel is laying on the ground. Right on the path. I was really close. See, look at where I am. And th that's it. I'm out You're of going to retrieve Mabel? Mm -hmm. And then it becomes Thaddeus's turn. 
party, just somebody watching from a distance is going, the party is beating each other up. I don't know why. <laughs> they keep changing sides and attacking different They're each taking, chat, taking turns killing each other. Taking turns trying to kill each other. This is a strange episode, to be sure. An episode of Star Trek mm-hmm. gone bad. <laughs> well, eventually it's going to have possessed everybody. So it's going to run out of bodies. Stop it! <laughs> you say things and then they come true. <laughs> well, so far it has. So, uh, what do you think, Thaddeus? I'm, I'm considering how close I actually want to be. <laughs> Let's put the thing back on the map for a sec, game map. Let's do game map on the screen. Oops. All right, what do you think? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go forward. Um, sort of the same distance as Percy is too. Okay, you're gonna go to like direction. there, right? Yeah. Okay, you move to there. That's one action. What do you want to do now? You have two actions left. I'm going to be at the ready if anybody needs my assistance. All right, you're going to hold your action. You can now take your action uh, between anybody else's actions yep. until it comes around to your turn again. Lavinia, it's your turn. Okay, so where is the spirit right now? It's in Raven. So you see where Raven is in the white coat? The spirit has possessed him now. And I just sprayed him with holy water so he became visible for a moment. Right. And... How did the guy respond to holy water? I mean, well, you haven't heard. He came, became visible. That's about it. That, that there was all. some, there was some elvish cursing. And that was about it. Oh, well, elvish cursing is, is good. You mind your language, sir. Yeah. I'm going um, to. Don't assume an elf's gender. Thank you very much. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good point. Um, I'm going to walk up gonna go i don't know about 10 feet towards raven okay you're going 10 feet towards him five oh, that's hold close on. enough that's hold on my... <laughs> you're like whoa 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 is, is that 10 feet because like with i don't know seven. what whatever that was <laughs> hold on I, i'll go no, back no, no, i no, i no, want to be 10. i want to be far enough away that i can throw some holy water on him again yes, yes, so yes, do yes. another dose of holy water but not be so close that I can be attacked. All right, you can hit him with holy water there if you throw some holy water at him. That's open I... open up the stopper and just throw the water out of the little container. All right, and uh, I'm gonna say you have to roll the hit. See if you miss him with there or not. Be gone, elves! Out with ye! Be gone, malevolent elven spirit! Eighteen. Nice roll. Hits for sure. That means that Raven gets to attempt to break free as the holy water splashes. Possessed Raven. Once again, you hear some elvish cursing. Raven Um, attempts a fortitude save to break. I mean, I'm sorry, not fortitude. Will. Will. uh, Will save. 20. 20 to break free does not do the job. We know it's 25 to break free, right? You guys already know that. That is the end of Lavinia's turn, I believe. You don't have any more? It was a good turn. It was a good turn. Mm Mm-hmm. And immediately becomes possessed Raven's turn. Do do do. Do 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 do. Possessed, possessed Raven or Raven Raven? Possessed Raven because oh, Raven Raven only it. gets to do stuff. Well, he's gotten to do fortitude turns. So. Mm. Raven Raven. He's a raven, raven, raven. Pess- possessed raven. Raven, raven, raven. <laughs> He's craven. Crazen. He's crazen, got- raven. Enslaving raven. He still raven, has good spells, raven. too. Holds Stop out his it. hands. Stop! Fire flares from his hands. No, no. As beams of scorching ray lash out. Ooh, that's and a he one. makes a. This will be a level two spell. And he makes an attack. Uh, and I believe it's a spell attack roll. And from where he's at, the first one is at Percy. 
and he rolls. Uh, what's your what's your addition on your spell attack to it? What do you get for um, bonus? Eleven. Two. Well, you did. Th- <laughs> <laughs> two, nice yeah. try. You did thirteen, so that means that it's a total of twenty-four, and I believe that hits Percy. Uh, my hit point. Your AC. Your AC oh, was. AC I hit you, and 21. the damage is increased by one d six for the one action, or by two d six for the two action, and three action version. So it's two d six that I attack him with. Correct. Am I right about that? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Raven is no longer cooperating with the possessed spirit. I'm, I'm possessed. You, you're going to have to figure these things out yourself, stupid spirit. Yeah, sounds about right, though. Well, the spirit only rolls a one for the first Scorching Ray. Uh, and a three. Four points of damage to Percy. The second Piercing Ray of the three, because the he's not moving, hits Thaddeus. But it's only an 8 plus 13 does 21. Still hits, doesn't it? Yeah. No, my armor class is 25. Your armor class is 25? How's that possible? I don't know. It just happened when I... How is your armor class 25? Mine is 22. Holy bards. Yeah, mine's 21. How does your become 25? When When I press level 5, it just happened. Dude, I'm going to say that you're missed. Did we test level five? Is, does that do something? Yeah, you're all you're all level five now. Okay. I already pop, popped you up. It automatically does all of those kinds of stats. It automatically increases them for you. Yeah. Well, you got a plus four dexterity, which makes a big difference. Yeah. yeah and you're does. trained in reflex. Yeah. So I I've been able to dodge. My armor class is only eighteen. I would have thought my armor class would have been more than that by now. Well, we can look at yours later. So, per, Thaddeus is side, safe. But then you the also third get one the advantage with your rune stress. Yeah. Is Lavinia finally takes an attack and it is a 13 plus So does my shield? 12. Hold on. That's 25. Your shield will not beat 25. Plus you haven't cast it. Yeah, I did. Yes, she did. Yeah. She did earlier last yeah, for a minute. It's a cantrip, right? It only lasts one round. Oh, that could be it only last one round. You have to do it every single round and use an action to do it. But it wouldn't matter because because he rolled higher than that anyways. Sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm assuming it's gender that he's a it's human. fine, Glenn Six. the Ruiner. Six. Yeah, well, that's okay. You I mean, take I... ten points of damage, Lavinia. Oh, says our drag queen. You got dragged by the ankle. <laughs> oh, wah, wah, wah. that is the end of possessed raven's turn and it becomes percy's turn what do you okay. want to do purse uh come with me tackle <laughs> okay so he requests the aid you're both going at the same time yep. you're going to yep. double tackle him. Gonna double tackle him all right roll for athletics see if we can take him off his feet he's a squishy wizard after all you're both delaying. Yeah, did not roll so uh, well. Uh, what do you? What did you get? Uh, I think you guys were both <laughs> hoping that the what other did one that would total roll? of eleven. Total of eleven. Yeah. Minus. What's your What's your bonus that you get? Six. Six. Oh well, it's it's not a one at least. All right. I got Thaddeus nine. misses. I what? Got Nineteen. Nineteen to knock him off his feet. I'm, I'm gonna see. see. You know what? Is there force you get a combined slim chance. something? You get a slim chance. No, Thaddeus was no help on this one. He was too low. Okay. You get a slim chance, but he rolls a 19 too. And Raven resists you for the first time ever. Squishy Wizard shows his Kung Fu moves. <laughs> now, did that take one turn or... Um... I'm going to say, yeah, you both just used a... No, movement plus attack, two actions. Yeah. Two actions. Yeah. And I am now right, right next to Correct. You're both next to him. I've just okay, updated so your tokens. I'm gonna try one more tackle. Okay. And it's a twenty one. Twenty one? Yeah. Well, I think twenty one will do it because he's only a squishy wizard. Okay. So you succeed in tackling him, but roll to see if you go prone or do you want to go prone? Or no? Yeah, I want to knock him down so that we can hold him down. All right, roll to see if you knock him over. Oh, set, that's better. 17 plus... Uh, he rolled 18. You do not knock him over. 11. You're both so. standing. No, 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 17 plus 11. 
Well, isn't it plus reflex or whatever? Actually, I'm going to say his reflex would be lower than yours. Yeah, because so my, I'll say it is successful. My reflex is 13. So. All right, so you're both prone. <clears throat> Mine's yeah. 11. Okay. Okay, you're both prone okay. and and uh, pin him down. Josephine, your turn to react. Oh, my turn. Okay. Yep. Oh, I'm torn. Okay. Um. Getting out the bullwhip. And Zed Zed, I am using the bullwhip. It's getting spicy. Bondage. Ooh, the bullwhip. <laughs> and I am. Where's right. our Where's our sound? <laughs> Uh, let me see if I can get to this. Hold on here. Let me. Sorry, you're right. I, I had to shut this off before. Let's see. Here we go. There yes. you go. Sorry. Apologies to people at home. We don't have our audio set up the right way for system sounds to come over the recording. Better late than never. But it kind of went. And that is wrapped right around uh sir squishy's ankles okay roll to hit to see if you're successful with your attempt well in my brain it's already wrapped around his it all totally worked in your head yes. i get it bring your tray good I thank you mm -hmm. i rolled a seven and then on my whip um i believe it's a 10. i'm gonna accept it because he's uh prone Oh, it's an 11, actually, so yeah, 18. He's prone. 18 to hit. So you then, end up restraining his legs. Um, and then it's a, uh, was it, not damage. Like We were going to work on something that was a restraint. And that's what it does. It successfully restrains his yeah. legs. Um, and then what, so what, what do I roll for that? Or just. just You're good. You like made that. it. Yeah. All you had to do was the attack because there's no damage beyond it. Okay. Um, that was my first move. Okay. Well, you have to get close enough to him to whip him, right? I'm standing right there. Whip him good. He, he's right there. All right. Okay. I'll accept that. So okay. your whip has a 10-foot reach. So you have two other turns then. My second and uh, third turn, I'm running up to him. And you're going to teabag him. Oh, yeah. No. You can't teabag me. <laughs> you can't. Um, you're I wouldn't. I guess. I don't even, I even know what. That's a gender specific uh, action. <laughs> I cannot. What the heck is. Mom, it's when somebody no, takes No, we don't want to know. Place place on your face. Uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I had to learn Did about Did anybody this from get kids. that on camera? I had to learn no. about It's a children. very well known thing. Oh. It's an act of disrespect in games where you can make your character in a lot of video games, you can make him squat. Right. So what they would do is that they would beat somebody and that guy's laying on the ground and then they go over and they'd squat on his head. And that's supposed to be teabagging. You can, it can I mean, it's a thing in real life. It's too, really right? amazing the things you learn here. Yeah. I know the, the depths and the heights of culture. Anyways, I think there's a high risk of bite damage though. In, uh, <laughs> in this particular. case, it certainly would be. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, why so, do you have to be so gross on my turn of all turns? Come on, why sorry, can't you be gross Josephine. On, like, um, Thaddeus, well, you're the ones that's in pretty whips and equally ropes gross. And yeah, I, I happen to have a whip <laughs> as my character. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. So, what did you want to go over there and do then? I'm gonna uh, flip over the squishy wizard so that he's belly down on the ground. And take the rest of my whip and Ooh. wrap it around his. You so know, you're going to hog attempt tie. a hog tie. Hog tie. Yes. Uh, athletics check to attempt a hog tie. Okay. First of all, you can go home and tell Margo that you got hog tied tonight. Yeah, you're actually trying yeah, to hog tie Raven. Second like time this week. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So my my wah, wah. bonus is plus that, ten. Down. Can you read that? What does that say? It doesn't say good. <laughs> it says one. <laughs> you guys are you rolled like a one crap. in your attempt to hog tie? It was so good. It was yeah, a perfectly was like, good, uh, natural one. For 
perfectly yeah. good. As you go over to attempt to hog tie I him, I think I trip over my own you whip. You trip and on the whip. Smack my face on the ground. And you do a face plant. And the question is, even Raven takes the damage as well as you face plant right into him. He does not take the damage and you face plant into the dirt if it's odd. It is odd. You just face plant yourself for uh, half of whatever this is, two points. So one point of damage? Two points of damage. Two points of damage. Just two little puny points of damage from your face plant. And uh, that means that it becomes... Oh, my God, you guys are having such a crazy fight with this stupid spirit. <laughs> this is such a dumb night. It's like the, the weirdest... <laughs> the, like, Thaddeus' I, I turn. Think oh, um, the only thing that could compare to this would be the Haunted Mansion. I'm sorry, Thaddeus, for interrupting your turn. Okay. Well, I still have my rope accessible, so I'm going to go up to Raven and bind his, his arms. How is your rope accessible? I thought it's tied around her ankle. No, that wasn't her, that wasn't my rope. That was that uh, Raven's rope. Oh, you're and right. Went, yeah. You're right. You did. You're I was right. paying was attention. Raven's rope. Raven's rope is tied around her ankle. Yeah. Sorry, I missed you up. Okay, so you take your rope and what do you do? I'm tying his arms. You're going to try and attempt to hog time. Yep. Everybody just tying each other up to tonight. Hog tie it's a wild ring. night here in Wilders. <laughs> I rolled a ten. <laughs> You rolled a 10 to attempt to hog tie him? Yeah, I don't know what my... Um... Can Raven resist Thaddeus's hog tie? Yeah. I'm going to say that your hog tie is higher than his and that you succeed. Hey, he knows Shabari 101. Because as a rogue, you're better at, at uh, doing that kind of stuff. And so, faster. So you had... You What's that? And faster. And faster. So my arms are, are tied? Your yes. arms are tied behind your back? Yeah. Okay. So you can't gesticulate. My, arm, my arms are tied, but my hands are still free. Your hands are still free. True. Okay. Okay. Well, up to probably. But they're behind your back. Yeah. Okay. And that is, is that the end of your turn, Thaddeus? Do they have anything else to do? That might as well be the end of my turn. Lavinia. I'm just, I'm doing, I'm tying it very thoroughly. And collating I for believe a while. You. Exciting. All right. So. You threw holy water at him last time, which gave him a chance to try and break free. <clears throat> he did not succeed. What would you like to try this time? I'm just looking at the fact that I don't have the spell over there that I thought that I did, so I'm not going to do it. Perfectly clear. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that I am going to cast just a little bit more. Well, no, I don't. Yeah, I'm going to cast some more holy water on him. You're going to throw some more holy water on him while he's there and try and douse him? Yeah. Go ahead. With double holy water on him, he's still wet from the last holy water. It, it will be a lower uh, threshold that you have to make to break free. Um, 19. 19, I'm going to say you break that's, free. That's will, correct? Yes. I'm going to say you break free. You're able to exorcise the spirit from your own mind. Thank goodness. Huzzah. The spirit so now you'd like to be untied. Up into the air and attempts to find another host. And with a 17, roll a will save, Lavinia. I should have had most of you roll a will save for these, but he was rolling so high that it wouldn't have mattered before this. With a 17 plus his will, though, it's only... Uh, that was the best of it for. So-so. A previously um, captured, uh, possessed person, are they immune plus from one. being recaptured? Yes, they are. And I mean, I'm just going to make 26. that up and say they are for the sake of the 26. You resist as the Woo! spirit comes towards you, especially because you are who you are, Lavinia. As, spirit, as the spirit comes towards you, you, the fact that you're holding Abuelita, that you've still got yeah. Abuela Mala, I mean, your skull there. As the spirit comes towards you, Abuela's eyes flare, and the spirit, you hear a scream in the air, ah, and the spirit flies off into the ether and you don't see it again and you Yay! are out of combat thank you okay, okay. And it's, um, uh, it's 12 minutes to, to 10 
Just on, like as far as the timer goes, it's 12 minutes to 10 right now. So we shall take another break for five minutes. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to make a, a comment to my, my team now that I'm not possessed anymore. Mm -hmm. Say when you're grappling a wizard or magic user, you have to tie their hands and you gag them. Yeah. You see, I was looking for silence, right? Yeah, silence. Because I could have cast silence on you and then you wouldn't have been able to make... Yes, if that was um, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, this is Pathfinder, and si Silence only works on a uh, willing participant. Does it? It does. So the next time I'm possessed, gag me and tie my hands the up. The next time I'm possessed, it does not just say. To, just to keep in <laughs> mind for the next time, because you know possessed. it's going to happen in like five or six more times. All it yeah. does here, Glenn, is the target makes no sound, preventing creatures from noticing if using. Hearing alone, the target can use sonic attacks, nor can it use action with the auditory yeah, trait. But look at who who it can. Um, it, it doesn't say here. Okay, I'm going to query on silence. Anyway, how exciting! It's one. The target is one willing creature, according to the archives one of willing Nethys. Creature. Oh, I see. Okay, no. one willing to. Yeah. All right. And I wouldn't Good. have been willing as a possessed. Right. So we would. We should have gagged you. Then. Does that mean you, should, you would have to do? Because I could still. I could still cast spells. Yeah. Arms are yeah. Bound. Yeah. No. Exactly. Okay. We're going to take a break here. Pass me the uh, yeah. controls. We're going to go to the Be Right Back screen, and we will see everybody in about five minutes. See you in five minutes. Right. Bye-bye, Fry Fry. Thank you.